People, what's going on? <laughs> you guys already know who it is. Your boy Bobby from MentorMe.com. Let me let, uh, of course, IG do their thing. Uh, of course, I'm live on Facebook, live on IG. Make sure you guys click the subscribe button. If you're going to be watching this from YouTube, click the live and the like button, people. As you guys know, I'm a life coach investor. Let me let it load up a little bit before I talk about what I'm going to talk about today. Um, Shouts out to everybody. I was on my live last night. Um, on my relationship Thursday. If you're not following me on Spotify, get on Spotify at Mentor Me. Um, Shouts out to all my students, which is grown adults, all my mentees who are in my stock room. Um, Shouts out to all the people that have been supported for the last, what, four to seven years. Um, again, I'm always going to give you guys gems. And the goal is to give you guys gems so you can win financially. And a lot of you, I get it, the whole Shiba. Well, let's first start off with the whole crypto. You guys know I'm a stock trader. Of course, I'm an investor. So I invest into anything that makes money, as long as it makes sense and it aligns with my goals in life. Um, as you guys know, I have a lot of dollars in crypto. I have a lot of, a lot of wealth in stocks. Um, and I want you guys to understand, man, everything that I'm always talking about. Sometimes you may not see it clearly, but when you finally get to understand what I'm trying to show you, um, you will always make money. Shout out to all of you that listened to some of my crypto plays and um, that was in my chat room. And I told you guys certain ones was going to make some money. And one of them just almost tripled today. So you should have been up, 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 up. Now, a lot of people are still following this whole Shiba thing, which is, again, I get it with the expectations of, uh, again, they're going to be multi-millionaires because the amount of Shibas they carry um, is it true? I mean, who knows? I can't predict the future. But again, is there other alternatives to investing in other altcoins other than Shiba? Yes, there's a lot of coins, people. And there's a lot of them that can make you a lot of money while you're waiting for Shiba. So I thought I'd really share that before I really talk about what I'm here to talk about. A lot of you need to understand you could invest into altcoins, okay, alternative coins. It does not always have to be Shiba, Bitcoin, or Ethereum. Let's be honest. Bitcoin is at, let's say, $62,000. A lot of us don't have $62,000, so you're not going to buy that crypto. But you could also buy a portion. They do fractional buying. Um, but let's be honest. If there's other alternatives, why aren't you investing into other alternatives that solve problems that can make you a lot of money? And a lot of you simply didn't see what happened. You guys didn't simply see. So I said, let me let me talk about this particular play. Let me talk about how I just made $12,000 this morning with a particular crypto. And all you had to do is pay attention to what I spoke about seven months ago. And if you paid attention and I gave the play, I told you guys this was going to happen. And I made the play. And again... A lot of you need to understand what's happening with this crypto. That's why this show I'm doing December 5th. If you are a local, um, you don't want to miss this crypto show. I'm only doing it once for the year. I'm going to show my portfolio on crypto, show you guys what I'm invested into. Um, I'm also going to show you how to make certain plays. I'm going to be showing you guys a lot about crypto. You guys know when it comes to stocks, I have a stock. So January where, of course, I'm going to be talking about stocks. What was the play that I did and why? Um, t I want to talk about uh Ticker, I like to call it ticker because I'm a stock guy. So I, I I use my vocab when I'm investing or trading. Realistically, I like to invest into crypto because I'm not selling. Even though I'm up to what $12,000, I'm not going to sell. And again, the other day, you guys, when I was live, I explained to you guys how I'm up $11,000 off of a different crypto. Um, so now, these are two different cryptos. I'm up uh, almost like $23,000 and I'm not selling either. Uh, again, this is just information. Um this is not financial advice. This is just informational use, educational use. What you do with what you hear today is really up to you. I get what a lot of you are doing. Okay, you're chasing Sheba. You're chasing Doge. And you're hoping that by the next two, three months, maybe a year, you're going to become a multi-millionaire because the amount of Doge or Sheba you carry. But what a lot of you don't seem to realize is there's other strategies to playing other cryptos that actually have real value. And again, one of those cryptos that, of course, my stock, everybody that was in my stock room should have played because I, I gave it to them seven to nine months ago, which was CRO. Now, let's really think about why did I buy CRO? CRO, okay, is a, a crypto exchange, just like Binance, just like Coinbase. 
Okay, they have differences, of course, but at the end of the day, you could buy a lot of different crypto from these coin, these uh, platforms. We all know Coinbase don't have a crypto. Of course, what they have, they don't have a token. What they have is they have a stock. Now, a lot of you didn't realize, okay, well, BNB, BNB is the main coin that you need to, of course, convert to buy a lot of other cryptos. Now, if you paid attention to BNB two, three years ago, that token was, let's say, at $2. Now it's at, let's say, 550. So in my mindset, I said, well, hmm, that's kind of strange. The three biggest platforms in the world is Binance, Crypto.com, and of course, Coinbase. So why don't you do what I do, which is what I bought CRO. So CRO was at, let's say, about six cents. So I said, hold on. The third biggest platform in the world that lets you buy and sell crypto compared to Binance and many others like Gemini, whatever the case may be, is at six cents. So I decided to put $8,000 at six cents and I'm not done yet. I have it in no, multiple accounts and there's a reason why. It's not just 8,000 in one account. It's 2,000 in this account, 2,000 in that account, 3,000. And I'm gonna tell you why I did that. There's a reason behind what I'm doing. Now, long story short, I'm up a lot of money off of CRO, and I'm not selling. At the end of the day, me taking $12,000 right now, there's really nothing I need it for. So to me, just a long-term play, just hold. That's all I'm doing. So I'm hoping that maybe in the next two years, three years, CRO can probably go to, I don't know, maybe $15, $20, $30. I really believe it's going to hit $100. Because as long as that company keeps doing what it's doing, it's now an international company, as long as it stays stable, that coin might hit $100, and if it hit $100, I bought it at six cents. You could imagine how much money I just made, millions, and that's all I'm waiting for. So while people are, of course, following and, and trending off of Sheba and Doge, hoping and praying, uh, you, can, you can have that. I got a couple of dollars there, but that's not. I see a lot of other plays in that whole crypto world that makes way more sense that I'm, of course, only going to disclose on December 5th, of course, my show live in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Now, I want you guys to understand. Um, you guys got to really think about what's happening in life. A lot of you want to win. A lot of you want to make a lot of wealth. And, and w one of the questions I get a lot is, what's your secret to making money? One thing I want you guys to understand is you got to be comfortable taking risk. So today we're going to talk about the importance of taking risk. If you're not taking risk, if you're not losing money, that's the risk I want to talk about today. The importance of losing money because you're losing to gain more knowledge. You're losing to gain more experience. That's what a lot of you don't want to realize. So a lot of people always say to myself, well, Bobby, I want to make, I don't know. Let's say you want to make a hundred thousand. If that's what, if that's your financial goals. Well, I look at life like this. In order to make a hundred, sometimes you got to lose 5,000. Sometimes in order to make a million, you got to lose 200,000. So is it true to say that in order to, Make a certain amount of money, you got to lose 20% of it. Sometimes even 30% of it. So is it true to say in order to make a million dollars, you got to be willing to lose $200,000. In order to uh, make $1,000, you got to be willing to lose $200. See, here's the problem with a lot of us. We don't like losing. We only want to win. And you got to understand, as I post a lot in my IG, YouTube, and I'm always sharing these great videos of great information for you to learn, I'm always telling you, I'm not only making money, I'm losing money. My, one of my stock portfolios is still down almost 400 or 200, well, $270,000. You don't see me shaking. I'm still investing. I'm still buying more crypto. I'm still investing in real estate. I'm still investing more and more money. But you're like, well, Bobby, why do that? At the end of the day, your money being in the bank, you're only getting 1%. And I don't think a lot of you realize how important that is. To realize that a bank will never make you rich. You will never get rich leaving all your money in the bank. And that's why a lot of you tend to fail. Because you don't understand the big picture. The big picture is learning to invest your dollars. Learning to lose money. Meaning you're having experiences. Meaning you're learning. To me in life, when I ask people, when was the last thing you invested into? When was the last time you lost money? And I hear I, hear, I haven't invested into anything. You're not learning. You're not learning if you're not investing into anything. You're not learning if you're not losing money. You're not learning if you don't understand to see the picture before it happens. So see, here's how a lot of you think. Well, I'm going to go ahead and invest into Sheba 
Okay, when she was going to the moon, as they say, quote unquote, you know what I did? I let the thing go to, well, as it started going up, I sold. Because I said, I know how this world is. I know what people are going to do. They're going to go dump all their money while this thing is going up. Ah, oh, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up. They're going to dump all their dollars. You know what I did? I waited. Oh, wow. What a coincidence. Down 46%. Ah, oh, okay. Let me put $2,000. I hope it tank another 40% so I can put another $2,000. See, I want you guys to understand. I always sell on the rumor. Okay. The rumor is that this is the best thing to buy. Hmm. Because you know what's going to happen? A lot of people, they're going to start buying it just off of emotion, not off strategy. So when something's going up, I usually already sold because I was already in it. Because a lot of you don't realize you should be looking for opportunities. The goal of anything that you're investing into, buy low, sell high. Not buy high, sell low. Your goal is to buy low, invest low, sell high. So when something is shooting high, why are you investing? You know what's happening? You're following your emotions. And the reason you believe that is because you're not a person that's used to losing money. Because an experienced investor, an experienced person that knows how money works, knows not to buy on the hype. They buy on the dip. See, there's a big difference. So for a lot of you that's trying to learn how to truly win, I want you guys to understand one of the key goals you should have is learning to lose money. If you're not losing money, you're not learning. You're not having experiences of life because a lot of you keep saying, I want to be a millionaire. I want to make half a million dollars. I want to make two million. I want to be worth five million. People, people that made five million have lost some money. And if you're a person that's afraid of losing any type of dollars, you're not going to get to five million because that's not how life works. I wish life was that sweet where you could lose nothing and just make five million. You could lose nothing and make 20 million. You could lose nothing and make a hundred million. You can imagine the people that have billions of dollars, how much millions they have lost to make that type of money. A lot of you don't understand that. Some people to have made a, 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 a let's say a billion dollars, they probably lost 50 million dollars. So imagine your mindset. You want to make a million dollars, but you're not, you're not, you're not comfortable losing $100,000. I'm going to say this, right? To make my first million, I lost maybe two hundred fifty dollars or 300000 So if you're not comfortable losing money, it's very difficult for you to get to the next level. Really think about that for a moment. Some of you want to make $1,000 a month, but you're not comfortable losing 200 bucks. How will you get to your goals? Be realistic, people. At the end of the day, you're only lying to yourself. For a lot of you that's live on Facebook, live on IG, I thought I'd share this quick video because I, I know it's, what, 11 o'clock? I'm about to start my day. My day's a little different. I earned the privilege of life at 35 to work whenever the hell I want. I work very differently. I leave my home when I'm ready to work. I, my work is just opening up my laptop. I'm at work. It's very different because I've earned that privilege, and it's all about 100% Miss Keontae said. It's all about investing, people. Now, that's my slogan. Investing is the new saving. If you are not investing, you are not winning. It's imperative that you guys understand the goal of life is to invest, not to invest into things that's not going to bring you true wealth, not to invest into material things all day, but to invest into things that's going to put money in your pocket. And cryptocurrency is that something. Stocks is that something. Real estate is that something. Investing into you is that something. But I tell you guys, this live, I did it because I want you guys to learn one thing. If you're not losing money, you're not learning. And a lot of you don't understand how much of a problem it is because all you want to do is make money, but you don't want to lose money. I love losing money. You know why? Because I get to have experiences. And that's why I'm able to go on these lives and educate you guys so you guys can learn and educate yourself on what's really happening. So today you learn the importance of losing money because when you lose money, you do what? You have experiences. Another reason why you want to lose money is what? You get to understand things better. You get to understand how to re-strategize what you're doing and coming at a different entry point. Because we all know also, the game of life is what? Buy low, sell high. The game of life is not buy high. And I'm going to say this again. You never heard a person say in real estate, okay, the highest the price ever been was 400. This is the best thing. This is the best deal for me. No. In real estate, what they do is, okay, the, the home is worth 400. They could buy that 300. There's a hundred thousand dollar arbitrage opportunity. That's when they want to buy. Same thing with stocks. The stock is at ten dollars. Okay, it was a couple months ago at ninety. 
Wow, that's a 80, that's a great discount. That's a great buying point. But for a lot of you, you don't get it. Same thing with crypto. Crypto is going to the moon. Sheba's going out of control. Here's what a lot of you are doing. Buying, 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 buying. You know what I'm doing? I'm just watching y'all buy. And then, because in my mind, I already know what goes up must come down. And I'm just waiting for the pullback. And of course, it tanked. So I just put $2,000 in. And I'm going to wait for it to tank some more. And I'm going to put another $2,000 in. It's imperative, guys. Learn to lose money. That's the only way you're going to win. This is your boy Bob from MentorMe.com. Like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure you guys are on Spotify. Make sure you guys are on Spotify following Mentor Me. Make sure you guys are learning. Share this video. Educate yourself. Rewatch it. The ticker that you should have been in if you're talking crypto. The ticker that you should have bought. And a lot of you still don't get it. You should have been in this months ago. CRO. Shout out to CRO. I feel CRO has a lot of great value. And um, shouts out to, of course, the amount of money it just made me. And again, um, shouts out to Coinbase for putting it on their platform. Because one of the movements of why it did what it did thus far is because Coinbase just added it to their platform. And again, the next play that probably is going to happen is Robinhood's going to add it to their platform. So again, it's going to keep moving. So again, it's not financial advice. This is just educational information. I am not a financial advisor. I am a, a financial educator. At the end of the day, I tell you my experiences of how I invest and how I make my motherfucking money. Shouts out to Mike, the advisor, for joining in. And today was a great day for making $12,000 on ticker CRO, which is a crypto of crypto.com. Just hit Coinbase. And if you would have bought months ago, you would have made the same amount of money or more. But instead, some of you, all you knew was Shiba, Shiba, Doge, Shiba. Now, I got to get going. I want you guys to enjoy your afternoon. May God bless you all. Make sure you share this video and enjoy your day. If you want more content, YouTube, my YouTube has a lot of great videos, giving you a lot of great information. My, my IG has a lot of great content. You could definitely watch a lot of great videos, me teaching you a lot of things. Even now, relationships. Shout out to Mike, the advisor. That's usually who um, I have alongside with me every Thursday night. We have relationship topics. And of course, every Tuesday night, we have what we call financial topics. MentorMe.com. You guys enjoy your night. This is Bob from MentorMe. I want you guys to have a great night. And the real love, Tiandra, I called you yesterday. I don't know why you didn't pick up. But MentorMe.com. You guys have a great night.